Hi folks, how's Spud here? Um, I'm just coming to show you about the new thing what we've got here. Here it is. It's the Raspberry Pi nighttime camera and it's got infrared lights at the front here. These are high powered, oh my, where's my finger gone? There it is. It's got the star type 3 watt LEDs at the front. I'm powering them at about less than a watt each. So that's about two watts of power there. And on the front of them, you can see there are aluminium reflectors that will reflect the infrared light forwards. Now these LEDs are not completely LED. They give a dull red glow, so the animals will see some of it. Um, lens in the middle is different to the one before as well. This is a, um, a more modern infrared Raspi camera. It's got a bigger lens on it, um, still about 70 degrees field of view, so it seems okay and it's got a motion detect on it here which is the standard PIR um, proximity detect um, thing that will trigger motion. So how does it work? What does it do? Inside is the Raspi, let's just show you the underneath first of all because I like this. Magnets hold the base on and inside we've got four uh, C cells they're 1.2 volts each, so they're about, oh, what, 4.8 volts? Yeah, I teach maths sometimes. 4.8 volts. Let's put it back on. The thing snaps in place um, with the magnets, and the magnets hold it on. They are cobalt samarium magnets. Um, I think the neodymium ones might do better. I've got some of those somewhere uh, for the next project. The lid, again, is held on by the magnets, and it's got three things on the top you can see here. It's got a red LED, nice that. It's got a yellow LED, and the little thing here, if I can just zoom in a little bit, is an LDR light dependent resistor. So that will change value whether it's light or dark. And that means that one of my GPIO inputs can be a one or a zero, depending on whether it's light or dark. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Uh, again, the lid just pulls off because it's um, magnetically attached. Inside, I can show you inside. There's a Raspberry Pi. There's the Raspberry Pi. Um, there's the peripherals board. At the front, you've got the camera and the PIR. Um, so that's that's how that works. On the side, um, hidden with a weatherproof thing, a shroud thing over the top of it, is the toggle switch, which is on/off power. Next to it, rather um, haphazardly mounted here is a reset switch and the reset switch just sets uh, resets the the pie so it'll turn it off for you gracefully you can't afford to power down these things um, without powering down the, the Linux otherwise it will just go all wonky now what else have we got let's just look away for a minute we have this thing here this is the Wi-Fi adapter we don't use this when it's out in the field because it uses about maybe half an amp or so so it's a hot plug thing, you can unplug this. So what I do is set the thing going, uh, connect to it, make sure it's all happy, um, and then I'll just pull out the Wi-Fi. Now I'm just gonna plug this one back in again here. This one plugs in underneath there. It's a bit fiddly as this one, but there you go. That's it, it's in now, nearly. Yeah, there we go. So Wi-Fi is in now on that there. Uh, so I will throw the switch, power it up, in fact, you maybe just pull it out before you power it up. So pull the thing out, a bit fiddly. Maybe I should have made it a bit bigger. Wi-Fi out, and now it'll run in the field on its own. When you get it back, if it's got enough battery in it, just plug the Wi-Fi back in again, and you can connect to it and pull off your pictures. So, let's see how to make it, shall we? Here we go. Bye.